Hello and welcome back to GS Simple. In this video I will show you how we can calculate distance of a set of points to another set of points. As, as a case in point, we will uh, take into account the cholera uh, dataset, uh, the dataset uh, showing the distribution of cholera deaths in London back in the 1850s. And as you may recall uh, from our preceding videos, this dataset is made up of two layers, uh, one point shapefile layer, um, uh, which, which shows up here in red with these small dots representing the location of cholera casualties, and, in, and the blue squares representing the location of public water pumps. And uh, uh, just one of these public water pumps uh, uh, was uh, actually polluted, and this was actually causing the uh, outbreak of cholera in London, in Seoul, in London, in, uh, in the 1850s. So, in this video, I will show you how we can calculate the distance of uh, each individual uh, point, of each individual, individual uh, location, to the nearest uh, water pump. And uh, so we will uh, um, use the uh, NFGS tool, which can be uh, searched uh, using this search facility. We click on Tools and we, uh, and we uh, input the uh, name of the uh, tool, which is near, near, uh, the near tool. And the uh, tool is uh, near. Okay, so this is the, the main tools window. And as you can read from the uh, help window, the near tool uh, calculates the distance from each feature in the input features to the nearest feature in the near features within the search radius. So, uh, for the purposes of this uh, short uh, video, we will uh, feed uh, some data into this tool. So the input features are, the, in, in our case, the uh, location of the cholera casualties. So we can search for the cholera deaths uh, point uh, layer and we can click on this layer. The near features are the water pumps, the public water pumps, so we can go and search for pumps. So this tool will calculate the distance uh, of each individual uh, location uh, of cholera casualties to the nearest uh, public water pumps. Uh, we can uh, uh, leave this field blank, the search radius, because when we uh, uh, don't specify the search radius, uh, the, the tool will calculate the distance to the nearest, uh, uh, to the nearest near features uh, with no uh, search radius. Uh, used. So we can uh, click OK and we can open the cholera deaths uh, uh, attribute table and as you can see a new uh, two new uh, columns will be added to our uh, attribute table and uh, uh, the near FID and the near dist. So the near FID is the identifier of the uh, water pump and the near distance uh, value is the distance, uh, in this case in meters, the distance uh, to the nearest water pump. So to, um, for the time being let's close this, wi uh, this window and let give a label to each uh, water pump in order for us to better understand the result of, of uh, the preceding analysis. So we right click on, on the pumps layer, we go on properties, we select the labels tab, click on label feature in this layer, and so we will give each water pump a label uh, on the basis of, of the um, identifier of each water pump. So we click OK. So as you can see, let's open the pumps uh, attribute table. So we have uh, eight uh, pumps 
each pump is given an identifier, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. And what we did is to uh, insert a label uh, near each water pump, and the label uh, is expressing the identifier of each water pump. Now we go back and open the color at that attribute table. So from this table we can see that, for example, point 0, which is uh, this one uh, is uh, um, uh, eight, 88 meters uh, distant from the nearest uh, water pump, and the water pump is the one that has an identifier equal to zero, and so is this water pump here. And the same applies for point uh, for this point uh, one, which is this one. And the, uh, this pump is uh, 84 meters distant from the nearest pump, which is again the water pump uh, with the label uh, zero, and so forth and so on. And let's scroll this uh, table down. Let's uh, consider, for example, the point 52. Point 52 is uh, 125 meters distant from the nearest water pump, and the nearest water pump is the pump uh, with the, an identifier equal to 7. Let's see, so 7 is this water pump, and so forth and so on for the other points. So, in this way, we have data about, about the distance of each uh, uh, point location to the nearest water pump, and uh, it is important to uh, keep in mind that uh, with this video, uh, with this tutorial, we are taking into account the uh, planar distance, not the distance along the roads, but we, we are just taking into account the planar distance or Euclidean distance. And so that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video and if you like this video please subscribe and give a thumb up and uh, share this video on whatever social media you prefer. Thanks for watching and see you next time.